What's up guys, it's Brian from Cross Ghost Gaming, and this is a first look at Creeper World 3 Arc Eternal. So this game got greenlit and uh, it's now on Steam for $14.99, and we're going to play a level of the campaign here. This is the main menu, and uh, you're going to see this a lot because you see the exit game button up in the top right right here? That is not readily available, at least I have not found a way to exit the game without coming back to this main screen, so... That's going to be quite annoying for you. So we're going to go to Arc Eternal. So you have different planets, which are different levels. And you see the last one I did right here. My ship is around it. And you choose your level by going over the planet. This one has a little mark on it, which means I need to do something else first. Which means I probably need to do Flick. Yeah. Flick. So let's start that. Load times are pretty fast. We're going to my laptop, so... And there's always dialogue at the beginning of the map, and I never listen to it because I'm impatient. But it probably gives you tips and stuff, tells you about what you're about to unlock. So far we've unlocked a new structure or weapon every single level, so it's probably telling me about that. Alright, so that's going pretty fast. So the, I guess the gist of this game is, is it, it's a tower defense, right? But it's a little bit different. The difference would be that... In most tower defenses, you have waves and waves of enemies that come at you, like monsters. And in this one, you have one enemy, Creeper. And that's that bluish-purple stuff that's kind of pooling out of these little spawners. And you see this blue thing, this is a different spawner. Um, I haven't seen these ones on the side. I'm assuming it's something new to this level where they're all connected to this middle one right here. And once I defeat the middle one, all the rest will go away. Or maybe they're less powerful or something. I probably should have read the dialogue before starting. But that's not as fun. I like to go feet first. So, the way you start is you have a command center right here. It's actually just called command, but let's be honest, it's command center. I'm going to put it somewhere that's not currently inhabited by this little generator of creep. And the goal of the mission is to get a couple things. First, you need to get this little item down here, which I think is a new weapon. And you get the key over here. And usually they have you destroy all the spawners, but I don't know what these smaller ones are. I don't know if they're... If you, don't, if you don't need to destroy them, or what the deal is. But I guess we'll find out. So you make your little command center over there, and then, like I was saying earlier, you have energy. So you can make that a couple different ways. So you have these collectors, which, keeping with the uh, StarCraft theme, are pretty much pylons. Except they get additional energy, depending on how much room they have to... Uh, turn the area green. Like you can see the area around them, how much is affected, so you really want to space them out as much as possible. You don't get any bonus for having them closer together. So you want to space them out and kind of expand your network here. And when they build, because they're not built yet, we're still paused, when they build they'll turn the area around them green and you get energy equal to the amount of green area. So let's go ahead and unpause and start the game. Command Center lands, and these little balls are energy. So you can see in the top we're making 1.5, which is the default amount that your Command Center makes. And then each of these collectors makes us more energy. So now we have 2.2 .2 energy being made. So that's 2.2 of these balls that we can send out, you know, every second. I'm not sure exactly how they calculate it, but it's directly related to the, to the uh, energy coming out. So these will build. They take five balls to build. You can see right here, zero to five. One, two, three four, five, and now we have all of our collectors built, and we're getting 3.6 energy and we're using none, so pretty good stuff. Next we're going to build a relay, which is kind of like a collector in that they connect things, but it makes no energy for you. It's just for getting stuff around faster. You can see the energy moves a lot faster on it. It's twice as fast as on collectors. And in addition to that, they have a way longer range, so I can jump over this gap pretty easily. Bombers. Aircraft that deliver anti-creeper. Build bombers, set your remote islands, make sure to collect plenty of ore. Okay, so that's our new weapon. We get a new weapon pretty much every level so far. And it sounds like these are built on ore for a resource, not energy. So that's this little, the minerals right here. So we'll build an ore mine. And another one right there. And what you're gonna see is, once this is built, which takes 25 energy, it's going to start collecting automatically and sending that resource back to the command center, which can then be allocated to wherever we need it. So there's the ore going back, the little brown packages. 
Now let's try and make uh, some more reactors, which gives us more of the uh, regular energy, but these don't require any space to operate, so you can bunch them together. Unfortunately, they're really expensive to make, so you can see we're star for energy. That's what the lines are turning red beans. So until those are made, we're going to have more expenditure than we have coming in. Actually, it's pretty close, but once they're made, we'll be good. We'll be in good shape. Should be right about now. So we got 50 energy now for these 50 build progress, and so those are going to give us a lot more energy coming in. So we got plus 4.8, 5.2 every second. And we're currently building nothing, so we're just collecting energy right now. And usually you want to get a head start on these because this is just building creep. It gets like deeper and thicker and harder to get rid of. But, uh, you know, doing things at our own pace. There's nothing wrong with that. And let's check out the new weapon they give us. Bomber. Sounds good. I'll make him over here. It's been my bomber base. And we are pretty starved, so I'll probably try to make uh, some more reactors. Give us some more energy. And you can see in the bottom of the screen there's a way to uh, advance time, multiply it. So let's go until those reactors are finished. Alright, got an achievement, good for me. And everything's built, let's go down to one. And you can see this is the, uh, the ore being sent to these bombers. And I guess I just... Just put them like that. Never used these before. But there's a different kind of plan I've used, so I guess you can make strafing runs like that. Let's see how this works. Alright. So definitely what we need to do is we need to build across these gaps, but we need to wait for the creeper to be eliminated first, because if you build there now, your tower will just explode. Which is fine because it doesn't cost anything, but... You know, you just won't be able to build anything. These are incredibly slow. I'm going to go three times. So it looks like they go back to refuel at the uh, bomber base. Maybe you should have them all focusing on one area. I think that's definitely what I should be doing. So you can see we're just trying to get rid of the creeper so we can start building there. Let's get that last bomber on the job. We need to make more, actually. Alright, there we go. That bright blue is kind of hard to discern from the uh, creeper blue, but that's that's friendly, friendly blue. I can build on that. That's going to be quick before the creeper takes it over. It looks like it's going to be pretty close. Alright, let's go back to one speed and make a cannon quick. Oh, sh snap. It's going to be close. It's getting really close there. I really wish I could zoom out more. You can zoom out, like, crazily far. But you can only zoom out this far, which is really annoying. Alright, so it touched my cannon, which I'm not happy about. And it touched that, so I'm very upset about what's going on. So, I mean, I'm a, I'm a big fan of these kinds of games. I like energy management and uh, that kind of deal. So, I've been pretty excited to do this specific game for a while. And it's really kind of, you know, what you see is what you get. I mean, this is pretty much how all the levels have been so far. You get a new weapon every time. There's no, like, hidden surprises where if you don't think you're going to like this game, you know, you're probably not going to. If you think you will like it, like I did, then you probably will, so... Very straightforward. Um, I have seen videos of later levels which are really intense, but uh, this one seems pretty straightforward to be honest. I mean, I guess the gimmick here is getting across different islands and that's why they introduced the, the bomber, but it's honestly not that challenging compared to levels I've already done. This is a pretty straightforward one it seems like. You can move your towers by the way like I am right now, so instead of just like the ones behind being useless you can actually push them forward. And you can see the red balls going are ammunition, as opposed to the white ones, which are uh, building materials or energy. So that's going good. There's a little spawner right there. I'm going to see if I can take it out with uh, this thing. It looks like I can't. This is usually how you take out the spawners, but I guess this like little side thing isn't really... Maybe it's not meant to be taken out at all. Maybe I'm just supposed to hold it off and use it as a way to get forward to hit this main one. I think that's probably it. Okay. I can deal with that. Alright, just move this forward. 
I'm not sure if I can get rid of the spawner. I might just be able to keep it under siege. Let's start using our bombers to bomb this island over here. Or should I just go for this island straight forward? Yeah, I'm gonna do that. There we go. That was huge. Okay. Okay, okay. We're in good shape, to be honest. This game can be kind of brutal on one times, to be honest. It's incredibly slow. I mean, look at this. This is normal speed. Which, these bombers are going to be the slowest thing I've ever seen in the universe. I can't believe how slow they are. <laughs> that is crazy. It's like slow motion. So, I'm going to go back up to three. Seems more. My speed. And yeah, it looks like this is just forever going to keep spawning goop we need to deal with. So I'm just going to ignore that. My weapons have it under control. I'm going to start going for the next island over here where the actual spawner is. And have them start attacking that little shelf right there. Alright, we're making a good dent there. Okay, we're starting to get to the bottom level. I need to be ready to put a relay there. I don't know if we're going to be able to do it. Maybe I should just spread them out more. They're all kind of doing the same thing. I'm not sure if it's really helpful. And these three are going to go right there. And these two are going to go right here. So that's like separate times and separate patterns. Let's see if that works better. Okay. Oh, so close. Do I need to separate all five of them to get the timing right? I hope not. That sounds like a lot of work. All right, well, we have the energy to spare, so let's make some more... Uh, of these guys. And also, this whole area should be covered in collectors. It's free energy for us. Alright, so you can see the white dots are going to build the buildings and the red dots are going to rearm these cannons and mortars. The red lines mean that we're low on energy, so we're spending more than we have. I really like, it's just kind of satisfying to watch the energy get on the line to be honest. I like the networks that they create and stuff. It's pretty cool. Costs 50 energy. So that'll take a while. Unless I do that. Alright, here's the plan. Here's our final assault. We're gonna have these three go over... Oh, okay. Those three are gonna go right there. These four are gonna do longer runs. And these two are just gonna attack right here at a different time. I just need to build a reactor super quickly. Or a relay, I'm sorry. Okay. Let's see if that can stay alive. If I can just get a weapon. Oh no. Oh. I just need one weapon to live. Okay, the relay is alive. I just need one weapon to live here. And I think we got it. Here comes the ammo. Alright, sweet. That's huge. Okay. And I just need to build a uh, nullifier. And that'll take out that... The nullifier, the only thing it does is it takes out these spawners. It can't attack anything else. It can't attack like the regular creeper. Alright. So when you kill a spawner, you get a little circle ring. And if you put anything in there, it gives it like a bonus to its range and to its uh, attack speed. Oh my goodness. Why is it still spawning, I wonder? I think it's just overlapped, so that's like still kind of pooling over the edge. That makes sense. Okay. Easy. Now we seem to get that key over there. Which I feel like would be a lot easier because this is... It looks like we stopped the creep from spreading. So this should be a cakewalk. At this point, it's like, you get to this point a lot of levels where you pretty much won. I mean, the creep isn't coming anymore, the creeper. So I'm just kind of waiting. It's not very exciting, to be honest, once you get this far into it. Um, the threat is already eliminated, now I'm just collecting this key, which seems kind of like a, almost like a secondary objective. I have a sprayer, but I don't think the range is far enough. It barely is far enough. I should have put it right here. Hmm. Alright, well why not? We'll get the tip, I guess. 
And let's put these individually. That way they all go at separate times. You know, something else you can do is you can actually move your your weapons into these areas. And they won't die immediately since they're already built. They have health that they'll lose over time. But the few seconds that they are alive can help you get a good stand on the area. Which it definitely didn't. So that didn't that didn't work at all. <laughs> all right, you know what I'm gonna do? I'll tell you what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna build a bunch of cannons. And I'm gonna go all in with them. Looks like we're already doing good anyway. See, that just felt like an annoying, like an annoyance almost. Like I mean. It's not like it was spreading anymore. It was just it took time to undo. I guess like the challenge would be in, if you're going for like a, a leaderboard time. But as far as completing the level, it's like we already did that more than half of the video ago. You know, this is just almost like a chore, it feels like. But I think a lot of the replayability comes from getting the best time on the level, so it makes sense that you need to kind of plan out which objective you're going to work for at which time. 41 minutes, not bad. <laughs> that uh, times four bonus, you really realize how fast that goes. And the best is four minutes, so yeah, people definitely plan ahead and redo the level over and over until they can min-max what they're going for. But um, we'll submit the score, continue, and you can see, just to show you the selector, or the uh, kind of galaxy map, solar system map, and these are all the levels, and each of these has like four or so levels inside each little solar system, and uh, yeah. This has been a quick look. I mean, like I said earlier, what you see is what you get. I think it's pretty fun. I've been playing it since before doing the video, and I'm going to keep playing it afterwards. But I guess don't expect this game to surprise you. So I'm getting that. But for $14.99, you know, up to you. If you think it's worth it, go for it. I find it pretty enjoyable. So thanks for watching. See you guys next time.